Mile nine, 26 to go. My name is Adam, I am a teacher, and I run. I have been in public education for 14 years. I am co-founder and co-author of Kids Deserve It. Last year, I spoke to thousands of teachers from across the country um, about doing what's best for kids through keynotes and workshops. Welcome back, everyone. Episode 94 of Kids Deserve It. We hope you've been enjoying our weekly chat. I'm just a big believer in not overthinking things. We try to do too many things with our schools, with our students, day in, day out, year in, year out. What matters most is kids knowing that you care about them. Never, ever, 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 ever give up on a kid. For me, connections are so important. Education is a team sport. You cannot do it alone. Nobody can do it alone. It's hard to be an educator in 2018. There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of noise. There is a worldwide PLN of people out there with ideas that want to collaborate, that want to work together. People all over the country and all over the world that you can get ideas from, that you can incorporate in your classroom and your school. It's really that village mentality. When the village is stronger, everyone's stronger. I've run 20 marathons. I can't even count how many half marathons I've run. I love the simplicity of running. Put on a pair of shoes and you can go out the door. When you're doing a marathon, it's a very individual sport. On the surface, but you need people to help get you through. When you're at mile 20 and you see somebody else go by you and they give you an encouraging hoorah or something, it gives you a shot of adrenaline. That was a connection. Connection with a spectator, connection with the road, connection with a student, connection with a family. It's the connections that we build in our life that are so important. That is my challenge for the week.